In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In today's Gospel, we hear the account of the healing of the blind man. Of course, we have heard this account undoubtedly many times. And this account starts with the apostles asking the Lord, is it this man's sins or the sins of his parents that have caused him to be blind? So the Lord replies to them is that the glory of God may be manifest and shown to the world. In this gospel account, many times we hear certainly that this is, this is an analogy of spiritual sight. For obviously there is much spiritual blindness in this world. Blindness that would prohibit even belief in God. So in our own lives, certainly we could possibly say, well, this is not us, for we're believers. We believe in Christ, in God the Father, and the Trinity, as set forth in the Nicene Creed that we so <clears throat> joyously recite. So truly, it is the gift of God that gives us sight even to believe. And we should all be very gracious and thankful for this gift of God that He has granted us even faith and belief. But I will submit to you that there are many kinds of spiritual blindness. Blindness that we cannot see even our own faults. Even as Orthodox Christians who come to confession regularly and this in itself causes us to certainly reflect and to see our own sins. But yet there is always a spiritual blindness within each one of us because of our pride and unwillingness to see our own sin. For it is certainly easier to point the finger elsewhere than to look in the mirror and see our utter sinfulness. This is often made manifest in our actions and our dealings with those around us, with our loved ones, with those we work with, with those people that we come across in our daily lives and routines. And we realize this conflict that we have with others around us, this is very difficult because typically when these conflicts arise, we are wounded and we don't want to look inside and realize that maybe it is us that, is, that has the problem. Maybe it's me that has the problem. But instead in our tendency and our, our sinful nature and our pride, it's always easier to justify in our own minds, well, that person was very rude. That person hurt me. And we don't realize that in that conflict, this also is a gift from God in a way that God gives us to, to actually be healed of this spiritual blindness, to see that it is within ourselves that we have these sins and this passionate nature that causes these conflicts with those around us. So we should take these things instead and rejoice and be grateful to God asking God for the humility to accept these conflicts that we have in our daily lives and to see truly our own sinful nature in this. So with God, truly all things are possible. With man, this is certainly impossible, for we cannot go a single day, not an hour, not even a minute, without us falling to the passions and stumbling in our sins. But with God has actually given us this gift when we find ourselves in these conflicts, these disagreements, when we are wounded, that God has given us as a gift that we may truly see ourselves and have humility and repent and turn from our sins. So let us take heart and know that though we are beaten down and we are wounded and we are hurt. This is a gift of God that He gives each one of us 
that we may truly gain in virtue and love for our neighbor and love for God. The blessing of the Lord be upon you through his grace and love for mankind, always, now, and ever, and unto the ages of ages.